Hello everyone. Welcome to the Mifra Tech. Today we are going to discussing in a new language called CSS cascading style sheet. Let's start the session. Before we are moving to the cascading style sheet session, in previous sessions we have discussed about the HTML. You want to familiar with the simpler codes of an HTML when you are writing an CSS code cascading style sheet. Let's see how to write and how to execute how it will be performed, etc. Let's start with the session. Cascading style sheet. What is CSS? It is a style sheet language standards based on a set of properties and attributes to define a styles. To describe the representation of a document written in the markup language like a HTML or XML, it is used to visual representation of a web page, markup coding, paragraph, my paragraph here, then we are writing an CSS to that like a font, color, size, margins and many more things. And what is the cascading, the rules to determine how to apply in a markup that contains an other markup. And then why CSS, why we are using an CSS to separate the content and content from form. When you are writing in a code, when you are writing in a paragraph, the example the you can see this is the word away the font size is equals to 12 pixel color is red and the face is what well, the the my information one is goes here the, that is uh, displayed as within the size of a 12 pixels and the colored as red and the font face has been similar what we have given and content is the text and images marked up with the defined defined regions of a specific types the example you can see and separate the content and form that is the new way where in the new way we can write a, we have write the HTML document with the another file and the form and the style we can write in a another file and we have to be linked with both in a older way we have written in the similar code like continuously where the paragraph will start there we have declared a font size and in new edition we can write a content in one form one file and form and style in a one file and both are linked together then it will be displayed as a dynamic website what does this separate get us separate content from form specify the style ones for every instant of that class we have has to specify Example, specify the font ones for all text of the HTML page that you have been identified as a header. The header content we must to specify the color code, the font face and how much height and width. The style sheet can be separate file which all the HTML pages on, on your entire site can link to. Only how to specify the style ones you have entire site can change the style for your entire site by editing only one file we are using any one file or we can use a mini file for an html also then css skinning skinning is referred to and changing the look of a page or your site it's a simple way it changes when you are writing an only html code it is a plain text that will where it will be displayed when you are writing in a CSS, you can see example here, we are written a style sheet link related to a style sheet, type text or CSS. The URL is skin1.css. We are linking a file, CSS file, skin1. The skin1 CSS file is info.backgroundcolor white and a font family and a font color it displayed it in a dynamically. Then skinning 2, you can see the example, you can easily understand here. We no need to explain where 
difference between the skinning one and the skinning two like uh, output then css syntax here there is a three major part selector property and value the selector does the what html selection does it affect and the property what attribute of html section will be affected and the value which value and the attribute that we are given the css definition locations where in line the style attribute p style paragraph where the content we are giving style is equals to font color red font size 10 pixel the content we are writing the content uh, content and we are adding to any paragraph called content the style has been adding to the font as color red and font size as 10 pixel the style attribute and inline style may be used to apply a unique style for in a single element to use inline styles add the style attribute to the relevant element the style attribute can contain any css property internal when you are writing in a with an internal html head header sector the paragraph the body background color and then we write in a paragraph in inline we write within in a single content in paragraph we can use in a sorry in internal we can use in a written within the paragraph then we are writing in a content external the dot css style sheet file we are creating an external file with an external style sheet you can change the look of an entire website by changing in a just one file each HTML page must include a reference to an ex external style sheet file linked with an a link element inside the head section. We have to link the external CSS file when we are creating within the header section. Then the file has been linked to the HTML page. The change changes the look the way it will be changed. CSS comments, comments are used to explain the code and may help when you edit the source of a code at a later date. Comments are ignored by the browsers as a CSS comment is placed inside the style element and start with the backward slash asterisk and ends with the asterisk backward slash. Here the comments is useful in any language, not only CSS because when we are using the comments, the any other code apart, any other coder, any other web developer will understand easily a code apart and we also understand when the comments are used. This is a single line comment, paragraph for paragraph P, color red. Then selectors, there are many kind of a selectors and many ways to reference them. Type, class ID, sudo, etc. HTML type tag selected with the tag type. For paragraph font size is equals to 10 pixel and font color white p content and when you are coming to any class attribute dot my info font size 10 pixel and the font color white here we has to mention the class attribute like a selectors class is equals to my info because we are created a my info previously and division my info the content and the other content it will be applied simultaneously. CSS colors, CSS background color, you can set the background color of for HTML elements, H1 style, background color, this can be set in HTML also, here you can see example, CSS text color, you can set the color of a text by using an example H1 style is equals to color tomato hello world and a style color daughter blue for any paragraph and using any style you can set the text color to the elements border color you can set any h1 style is equals to by mentioning any border and how many pixel border is equals to two pixel and the color solid tomato and which are we have want to mention the border height width the border we have to mention the style is equals to border and the pixel 
color values there are some of the color values we can represent with the color code or hexadecimal code also when we are referring to an hexadecimal or rgb be aware you are knowing an hexadecimal code or you don't know the hexadecimal code you can represent with the color code only like a red blue white etc in CSS colors can be also specified using the RGB values, hexa values, HSL values, RGBA values and HSLA values. Here you can see RGB values 255, 99 and 71 and hexa values as hexa values as a six digit code or you can use as FF6347. Then HSL values 900% and 64 percentage it will be displayed as a similar output backgrounds css background properties are used to add the background effects for elements background color background image background repeat background attachment background position background background color the body within the body background color is equals to light blue it has been applied you can set background color for any html element by mentioning any header part and which the section we are using here you can see within the external style sheets external css file h1 background color is equals to green for division part background color is equal to light blue and for paragraph background color is equals to yellow and background image we can set by giving an a inside the body background image specifying the image path the background image property specify an image to use the background of an element by default the image is represent so it covers the entire element cascading inheritance the set elements inherit the properties from its parents the example you can see it specify if you specify the style for the body tag it will affect all the content in your html element if you want to override inherited setting you need to specify a style in a more local element the difference between the content will where the html body will affect and non affected background image repeat by default background image property repeats an image both horizontally and vertically some images should be repeated only horizontally or vertically or they will look like strange like this you can see an example the background position where the image wants to be set at the background position property is used to specify the position of the background image example inside the body tag the background image the image location has been specified when the background repeat no repeat the background position the right top the position has been changed from the right to top right to top the it will work as simultaneously then attachment the background attachment property specifies whether the background image should scroll or be fixed will not scroll with the rest of the page the image has been scrolling or not scrolling the background attachment will be used body background image url the background repeat position and the background position is right top the background attachment when it will be fixed it will be repeated simultaneously then shorthand the background no repeat right top we can mention within the one sentence like a background the color code the image url the background position the background uh, repeat and the background position within the one line all css background properties there are so many properties background see all the background properties in one declaration background attachment sets whether a background image is fixed or scrolls with the rest of the page background clip specifies the painting area of the background background color sets the background color of an element background image sets the background image for an element background origin specifies where the background images are uh, positioned we can use the background origin in the code also because here the background ori origin is uh, uh, images positioned or not 
it will be verified background position and background repeat background change you have seen the examples also css borders there are uh, several types of borders the border style property specifies what kind of the border to display you can see dotted dashed solid double groove ridge inset outset none hidden dotted dashed solid double it is a shorthand property where you can see one by one borders output here dotted dashed a solid border a double border and a group border the effects depends on the border color value also and a ridge border and inside border and a mixed border you can see a dotted border is also there a dashed border is also there and then a double border is also there border width when we are sitting in a border width the border width property specifies the width of the four borders the four sides the rectangular the width can be set as a specific size in pixels in centimeter and pt and em or by using one of the three pre predefined values thin medium or thick we specified most we specified in pixels only p1 border style solid border width is equals to 5 pixel or border width is equals to medium or border width is equals to thick thin or medium here you can see the 5 pixels border how it will be represented and a medium border and a 2 pixel border and a thick border with a dotted border it will represent as a thick border the medium border and a 2 pixel and the 5 pixel border the border color we are setting in a border color the border color property is used to set the color of four borders border style solid border color red color green and color value blue here you can see the border colors the border style is dotted you can observe that when we are given a solid it will represent as normal when we are giving an a dotted it will represent with the dotted border sorry yeah you can see now the border color red green and a blue border with a dotted the and red and the green are within a solid borders border sides we can define a border sides border top style dotted border right style solid and border bottom style is dotted <laughs> and border left style is solid where we can define a various kinds of in a border style not only overall with the four borders we can represent say single border also by representing a top right top right bottom and left then shortened property 5 pixel solid red it will apply the whole property whole to the border left and shortened property it has been continued left and border can also we can a short hand border left 6 pixel solid red border pixel 6 pixel solid red 